Sparkle is coming out in a few days, and if her kit stays as it is, it pretty much guarantees that she'll be an S tier character. Despite me saying this, I'm still not gonna pull for her. Now you're probably thinking, this guy's hair dye has seeped way too far into his brain. He's gonna say something like, oh, I just hated Sparkle within the story. That stuff she said to Adventurin was so messed up. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover, not in a dream. Did you strip yourself naked? apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? Why don't you find a rock to be friends with? And while the hair dye comment is probably true, the rest of it could not be less so. I actually quite enjoyed Sparkle's presence within the story. I am frankly tired of seeing the same good guy, bad guy dynamic, where the bad guy used to be a good guy, but just took their good intentions a little bit too far. Basically, I'm complaining about the entirety of Bellabog. It is so refreshing to see a character that just acts like a complete tool. Sparkle just feels like the type of person who just runs around and ruins other people's lives because it's funny. I think her and Aventurin are actually hard carrying the Panacone storyline, and I say that as someone who is jealous of Trailblazer for living out my dream, waking up next to her. You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. So if I think she's broken, and I think she's a cool character, why am I not pulling for her? Well, actually, it's the same exact reason that I didn't pull for Ruan Mei, who, yes, I do also simp for. You're probably noticing a theme with that right now. Don't worry, it continues on. I didn't pull for Ruan Mei at the time, and I'm not pulling for Sparkle now, because fundamentally, regardless of what harmony unit I use, every single fight where I use a harmony unit feels the exact same. What do I mean by this? Well, let's take two harmony units as an example. On one hand, we have Ting Yun, a character who buffs attack and energy. On the other hand, we have Asta, a character who buffs the whole team's speed and their attack, but to a lesser extent. While in general, I will probably clear fights faster with the Ting Yun, outside of the numbers that I see on my screen, the fights themselves don't seem to play out too much differently. My win conditions are still the same win conditions, regardless of my Harmony unit. My Jing Liu still wants to build up her transcended form, and then just one-shot the enemy while howling like a League of Legends player whose mom just pulled the internet cord because it's 2am on a school night. Asta, Sparkle, Ruan Mei, Ting Yun, Bronya. None of them change how my Jing Liu wants to play the fight. Sure, Bronya is the most effective character in terms of increasing her damage, but regardless of what unit I bring, my Jing Liu is still gonna do the same exact Jing Liu things. Just jump into the air and... We have one unit in this game right now that feels like a support that potentially alters the way fights play out. And even then, I don't know if I'd consider that right. No, it's not a harmony unit. Actually, it's Silverwolf. Silverwolf allows you to bring in characters that the boss is not weak to. She also forces you to change the way you view your team building due to the nature of RNG on her skill. Maybe you have to bring Bailu instead of Natasha despite needing a cleanse because you want two lightning units. These small things that change the way that you interact with the fight, that change the way you build your teams, are exactly what I want to see in Harmony Unit, but we don't. On the contrary, when you pull for a DPS unit, it feels like you get way more bang for the amount of jades that you end up spending. This is because inside of Star Rail, most of the DPS units completely alter your gameplay experience. Sila is a character that wants to set up on low HP enemies and get valuable resets off of them. If you end up getting a reset, well now you do massive damage and you're provided with an extra turn. That is distinctly different from the style of a character like Blade, a character who wants to harm himself and synergize with other characters who hurt him, such as Jing Liu. Blade consumes much of his HP to attack as well, meaning that you have to be careful with bosses potentially one-shotting you because you put yourself too low. Another dynamic you have to play around with when you use him. Him and Clara are also the only DPS units who actually want to be hit, giving them even more potential synergies and also altering the way you play fights. Now you don't want another unit taunting to protect your characters, you actually want to try and taunt the Blade and the Clara. This is radically different gameplay from Jing Liu, a character who wants to build her transcendent form and then just one-shot the enemy because the devs don't know what the fuck balance is. And let's be clear, I'm not complaining about that. You guys remember my type from like 10 seconds ago. Every time this psycho screams in my ears, I have to go AFK on stream and change my pants. Some of you may be pulling for Sparkle because she's OP, especially with certain units like Sila or Jing Yuan. If you are considering this, you should ask yourself, how much of a difference does having a Sparkle make compared to a unit such as Ting Yun or Branya? These are units that you get for free on the standard banner, and they're also quite serviceable. All the content in the game that exists currently has been cleared using these characters because Sparkle isn't out yet. This is especially important because if you're anything like me, you're still using complete garbage healers like Natasha and Bailu. And while Natasha, everything I said earlier from all those mommies applies to her too, using her as an actual unit is... yikes. The difference in the constants you clear going from a standard banner healer like Natasha to a limited healer such as Hu Xuan is night and day. Whereas Branya versus Sparkle, depending on the unit, Branya can actually be stronger. The point I'm getting at is that the Harmony units inside of this game, including Sparkle, 
just don't feel different enough from each other for me to justify spending on them especially as a Welkin enjoyer. My resources are just better spent on characters who actually change my gameplay experience. I don't understand how we can justify having Branya too, but gives us S some extra skill points as a brand new character. And when a character like Asheron is coming out in the following patch, Asheron who has the coolest animation for skills and ults you have ever seen in a gacha game, a completely new mechanic involving her ult, and also help me live out my fantasy inside of the story. Stop it. Get some help. Mahoyo needs to find a way to make harmony units have way more interesting kits. I want to feel like when I put a new unit on my team, it makes the team feel radically different. When I use a character like Fu Shuan, I feel like my characters aren't going to die unless my Fu Shuan dies, and that feels so different than me having a character like Natasha on my team. Or even Geppard, who's also a preservation unit. When I have a character like Ting Yun on my team, the fight does not feel that different than if I have an Asta on my team. Sure, my team moves a little bit faster with the Asta, and yeah, sure, my DPS gets his ult a little bit faster with the Ting Yun, and I see slightly bigger numbers, but nothing fundamentally changes about that fight. My win condition is still Jing Liu whacks them with their giant stick. My win condition is still Blade needs to get hit. My DPS units are the ones changing what my win conditions are, and because of that, it's impossible for me to ever justify pulling for a Harmony unit. I'm sure you've noticed this before, but Harmony units seemingly have the worst animations in the game. As heavenly as her legs are, I can't tolerate just watching Ruan Mei do a simple step as her ultimate. Literally the entire animation is just her strutting and then the camera panning up at her. Her skill is also her just plucking her Ruan while she does a twirl, which is the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life. And once again, I say that as someone who wants nothing more than to be suffocated by her Sparkle's animations may be a singular step above Ruan Maze, but they're still not up to par. As much as I love her cocky smile, it just really doesn't do it. DPS units just have such amazing animations by comparison. Jing Yuan has his giant lightning lord that he's swinging behind him. Sila literally breaks your entire screen as she moves in with all her phantasms attacking you. And also she has some like weird anime twirling attack that definitely only works because we're in 2D. Black Swan melts my heart while summoning some celestial beings to grab her target. God, I wish that were me. And while I'm listing mostly DPS units right now, I don't think being a support bars you from having good animations. We can look no further than Fu Xuan who has some of the best animations in the entire game. And that's as a preservation unit, not even a DPS. Why can't our harmony units follow this trend? I don't want to see Branya's boring ults where she just simply picks up her gun and swings it forward. And as much as I want to see Ruan Mei's legs, that's just not a quality ultimate. If Mahoyo doesn't find a way to make harmony units stand out more, there's no reason for me to pull for them over the broken harmony units we already have in the standard banner. Also, go check out my Twitch.